Y'all, I've been following this Diddy case and what's going on, and I've been hearing some of the responses and some of the people trying to make excuses and take up for him. And let me just say this now. I hear and I understand about the people saying when he sued the companies back in whenever it was and, you know, he challenged them and for di discrimination and stuff like that. I understand that. And I agree with you totally. Sometimes when you do challenge these big corporations, these businesses or whatever, you do make them uncomfortable and they seek revenge. You know, they come in and they ruin your whole life. They smear your name, tell lies on you, you know. If they don't take you out of here, you understand what I'm saying? So I understand that, and I and I know it very much well happens. But in this case, in Diddy's case, I don't think this is that case. I think that there's a lot of things, a lot of truth to the accusations that have been brought against him. Number one, it's not like we were all blindsided by these accusations. It's not like we've heard, never heard this stuff about Diddy over all these years. It would be different if we he was hit with this and we were all like, what? Not Diddy. I, I would have never thought, never. No, it's not like that. We've all heard this, okay? I think there's a lot of truth to this. And as this case progresses, it's going to come out. And I think there's a lot of more people that's going to get caught up in all of this mess. It's going to be some names. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be It's gonna be a mess, okay? So I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you. That does happen a lot. Because when you speak the truth, when you fight for what's right, the government will come after you. I understand that. But I don't think this is the case. Okay? I think he's very much guilty, very much of what he's being accused of.